Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to replace the sky and add some movement to just a still tripod shot. Before we get into it, um, I just want to say for my next tutorial or video or whatever it's going to be, I'm actually looking for someone to edit the intro edit for me. So if you're interested and you want to get your video seen on this channel, then upload a video to Instagram of your best shots of, of your or of your best edit and tag me in it. My Instagram is just right here. And then for the next video or whatever it's going to be, I'll pick someone to do the intro edit for it. So that should be pretty cool. Okay, so let's go back to my original shot. Okay, so I've got my two original shots here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a slow motion effect to this shot. Go to the little dial here, go to automatic speed, and that's going to put it in slow motion at the slowest rate possible, but keeping it nice and smooth. I also want it to go super slow-mo there. So what I'm gonna do is put my marker there and I'm gonna hold shift and press B and then I'm gonna skip three frames and I'm gonna hold shift and B again and then I'm gonna zoom in, go to custom and change that to 2%. My clip's already done it, but what you need to do is, after you've made it go super slow-mo, go to this little button here, and video quality optical flow. I already had that turned on, so it's made it nice and smooth. If you don't have that on, then it's just gonna look choppy. Okay, so next step, let's copy this clip copy and paste and then we're just gonna select the bottom clip and press V just to disable it and then on your top shot what you want to do is go to effects keying keyer and just drag that onto your shot and then we're just gonna put the spill level back because otherwise it changes colors and then what you want to do is hit sample color and just choose your sky And then strength, go to mat tools, just like that. And then you want to go to shrink and expand and you want to try and get rid of the white outline around the main, the main subject. You've got a few holes here. So what you want to do is go to fill holes and that's just going to fill them in. There's still a few holes, but we can add a mask onto that later. Because it's a tripod shot, it's really easy to add masks and they'll just stay in position. Okay, next step. Let's go ahead and enable this bottom shot with and hit V. And then what you want to do is grab your time lapse. And then you want to put that in the middle of your shot. See these holes here? Let's just fix that quickly by adding a mask to our time lapse. Okay, so that's fix the uh, holes down there. And now it's look, looking pretty good. I want the clouds to fade on as it goes into super slow motion. So I'm going to bring up the retiming um, information up there by hitting Command R. And then right where the slow motion hits, I'm going to add a Luma key to the time lapse. I'm going to move the sliders all the way to the left. I'm going to go back a little bit, hit keyframe, go to where the clouds are going to be fully faded on and just use these sliders to show the clouds. So it'll go from the original shot to fading on. That looks pretty good. That's all done. Now we just need to add movement to the to the shot. So what you want to do is select all your clips and go to new compound clip. So now that's all together. So I'm going to add a slow zoom in. Hit the transform button. Hit the keyframe button. Go to the end. Scale in. And move it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
So now I've got a slow pan in. The next step is to go to your effects tab and we're going to type in handheld and we're going to add the handheld effect and this is just going to give your clip a little bit of shakiness. I'm actually going to add a keyframe for the distance here. I'm going to start off at zero and towards the end I'm going to go up to 46 and that's just going to add another bit of um, just a bit of variation for the handheld effect. Okay, so that's pretty much done. The, the last thing you want to do is add your adjustment layer, add your color correction and your cinematic bars. So yeah, that's the effect done. I think that one turned out pretty cool. Once you've done a few of these, it actually it becomes pretty easy and you, you kind of know what's going on. So yeah, don't forget to tag me in your Instagram videos. I will be uh, looking for someone to do the next intro edit. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Do you even miss me sometimes?